Now, just outside the little towns of Usakos and Karibib, Namibia, we have the Ojua uh, mine, where the guys used to mine for lithium, among others. You had this beautiful uh, muscovite, which has almost a bluish color. And then you'd have lots of sections of solid quartz. And running through these, we have the tourmaline. As in this case, we have the rubellite tourmaline. So the pink to reddish variety of the tourmaline. There's something green over there. Could be a little bit of verdelite tourmaline. Could be something else. I'll have a look under magnification. So all in all, quite an aesthetic piece. Solid, solid quartz matrix. I don't see any muscovite or, or lithium uh, lepidocrosite, I think would be the lithium muscovite on this particular piece, which is quite unusual. Lovely color on the tourmalines, a, a pink, um, quite a rich pink, almost going into a red. I'd go with a rubellite tourmaline, just from a color point of view of this. Of course, room, uh, tourmaline... Uh, often we find from this deposit, uh, we find the albaite tourmaline, which would be a mixture of indicolite, verdelite, rubellite, which would be the indicolite would be the blue, and then you'd have the uh, uh, the green, the verdelite, and then you'd have the rubellite, which is the pink, and you often had the uh, um, watermelon tourmalines as well. Don't see any watermelon effect here. Uh, what you'd have on a cross section, you'd have uh, uh, separate colors uh, running into the core of the crystal.